Pastor Scott here with a word of encouragement. Some of you are, you're hurting right now. And, and some of you, you've been hurting for a while, maybe even a long time. And, and you begin to wonder, does, does God hear my prayer? Does God care? Scripture encourages us to give voice to our sorrows. I love Psalm 13. Uh, the psalmist says, How long, Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts and day after day have sorrow in my heart? We're encouraged to give voice to our sorrows. But the question regarding of whether God hears or not and, and whether God cares or not. I love Psalm 118. Listen to this. The cords of death entangled me. The torrents of destruction overwhelmed me. The cords of the grave coiled around me, and the snares of death confronted me. Some of your situations and circumstances feel like that right now. Verse 6, In my distress I called to the Lord. I cried to my God for help. Listen to this. From his temple he heard my voice. My cry came before him into his ears. The cry went into God's ears. And then listen to how God responds to the cry of distress of one of his children. Verse 7, the earth trembled and quaked and the foundations of the mountains shook. They trembled because he was angry. Why was he angry? Because you're hurting. Number, verse 8, smoke rose from his nostrils, consuming fire came from his mouth, burning coals blazed out of it. I want you to feel this. Verse 8, he parted the heavens and came down, dark clouds under his feet. He mounted the cherubim and flew. He, he soared on the wings of the wind. He made darkness his covering, his canopy around him, the dark rain clouds of the sky. And out of the brightness of his presence, clouds advanced with hailstones and bolts of lightning. And the Lord thundered from heaven. The voice of the Most High resounded. He, he shot his arrows and scattered the enemy with great bolts of lightning. He routed them. Verse 15, the valleys of the sea were exposed and the foundations of the earth laid bare at your rebuke, Lord, at the blast of breath from your nostrils. I had to look this up, the valley of the sea, the deepest place in the ocean the deepest valley is the Mariana Trench. It is 6.8 miles deep. A blast from the nostrils of the Lord laid it bare. Why? Because God's coming for his child. Verse 16, he reached down from on high and took hold of me and he drew me out of deep waters. He rescued me from my powerful enemy, from my foes who were too strong for me. They confronted me in the day of my disaster, but the Lord was my support. Verse 19, he brought me out into a spacious place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. It's one of my foundational verses. God brought me out to a good and spacious place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. Be encouraged today. Your cry for help has gone into the ears of God. He is at work, and his plan is to rescue you. It may not be in your timing, but that's God's plan. And he is feverishly at work to bring you out into a good and spacious place because your God in heaven delights in you. Be encouraged and go dogs. <laughs>